Hello, and welcome back to Slime Rancher, here on Slime Time Ranch. And today for me is a Friday, which means it's party time! So we're going to go out and find the party slime. And I realized that uh, we're missing two of the treasure pods on the dry reef. So, and that is this whole area plus Ring Island. And I figured out exactly where we're missing them. So we're going to grab those as well. And if we have time left over, I haven't decided what's going to happen. <laughs> First, we're going to head out to Ring Island and pop the party slime. This one isn't too hard to find, as long as you like to go up. If you uh, have been on Ring Island before, and uh, you've gone to the top and popped that pink slime, it'll be no problem whatsoever. It's just past there. And actually... I looked up and one of the treasure pods that are missing is on the way. As in right here. Ta-da! Which is perfect because it contains uh, resources. So that means I should put down oh gosh. Oh jeez. There, man. Is there any over here? Well, our party slime's here. And yes, okay, cool. So we'll put down our refinery link and open up. There we go. All right, time to pop a slime. Hello, what a lion. And it looks like today we are having hen hens and briar hens. Oh, darn it. Dang, now there's it's just a pink slime. That always makes me so sad. I try not to pick up the party slime because I found out um, from my other games that you can you can save them. Like, if I came back to this area, they will still be here. And that's pretty darn cool. Alright, so we could go all the way back the way we came. Or, we can hop over to here. <clears throat> and then across here. So that's one of the two treasure pods. Well, the other one's not too difficult to find, and I've, I have just overlooked it. I don't know why I haven't gone there yet. Our fire slimes, looking really good. Actually, as I was preparing for this episode, um, I had to run back into the desert uh, and try to pick up some more prickle pears. And, um... There was a firestorm, and in the firestorm were, of course, the, uh, bleh, the, the fire slimes. And then there were two tars. Two tars, one after one unlucky fire slime. It was so sad. I tried to save it, and it was just, it was too late. <sighs> so... I splashed all of the tars and destroyed them. It was sad. <laughs> it's also kind of sad that I'm sad about it, but, you know, whatever. I also like really cute things, so... It's cool. Alright, and our pink slimes are making a lovely mess here. Great! 
So, we have gotten this one here. We have not gotten this one down here. <laughs> Lovely! More resources! Now I do not and will not purposely test the, uh, the, the docks experiment right now. But I could do that. Um, Yeah, I could show you guys what happens if you fall off the edge, and how your um, your items will end up on the docks. I should probably do that. That's something. Okay. Cool. So at least we won't lose those things. So let's suck up some other stuff. Uh, I think there's a cubeberry tree back here. Nice, and it even has q on it. Oh, it's so inconvenient to try to get those. Alright, never mind, not those q -berries. I've jumped further. Sorry, hen hens. Um, for science. We will lose all of our water. That's a thing. Um, I wonder if slimes will do it. Let's go pick up some slimes as well. Okay. Here we go. Let's get a whole bunch of pink slimes. Shoot. Okay, not that one. Pink slimes. Collecting pink slimes can be a pain in the butt because of uh, how much other stuff they can go after. Oh, what? I swear there was just a regular people right there. Ugh. Oh, you know what it is? You draw distance is absolute crap because I turned down my settings um, so I could record easier. I'm not having a whole lot of lagging and stuff, but uh, yeah, my draw distance is crap. You win some, you lose some, right? I don't want you. I don't want the plorts. I just want your slimes. Oh gosh. Oh, uh, now would be a great time to show you that. Yeah, this is. Oh god, it's such a mess. Oof. All right, all right. I've had enough. Let's do it. We're jumping. Going into the slime sea. Let's see how much we have. Uh, we gain back. So we have five hen hens. Alright. I'm gonna take a picture of it. Just so I remember. My memory is awful. Okay. 19 pogo fruits, 10 heartbeats, 5 hen hens, and 26 pink slimes. Let's see what turns up on our docks. Hey, look, I could probably make it. I could probably make it. Okay. We've done it. Not recommended. 
but I did it for you guys. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, do you see this? The days? Oh my goodness. Oh boy, that was like two days rest. Oh my gosh, my slimes are going to be pissed. Let me hurry and get to the docks like now so I can uh, refill my drones. And then we will go back to the docks and uh, get anything that has shown up. Alright, here we go. Like, you pass out for one day and your slimes are upset. You pass out for two days? Oh boy. Your slimes, they're gonna be unhappy. Okay. Man, oh man. Did I get it? I got it. Cool. I'm not so worried about the... Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm not so worried about the uh, the fire slimes. Because those ones, they can go a long, long time without being fed. And they're not going to get upset. Same thing with puddle slimes. And I mean, puddle slimes live in their food. Think about that. That's kind of weird, actually. Imagine if fish survived on water alone. That would be weird. Okay. That's two more, I think. Oh, at least these ones have their carrots. They're they're not gonna be able to do that. Okay, and let's go see what appears on the dock. So, oh, here we go. We have one hen hen. We got a pogo fruit back. Oh, I think that was a hen hen that just fell in. There's more pogo fruits here, but they have, um, oh, they're past their expiration date. Ugh. I don't remember how many that was. I think that was like five. Another one. There's a B. Oh, jeez. Okay. So it looks like the slimes won't come back. But any food sources you have have a chance of washing up on, sh on shore. Which is pretty darn cool. That was an experiment. Alright. Um, the results aren't that great. You will lose a lot. A lot. And, um, it looks like things that have a, um, a high, like, a, a very fast despawn time, they're not gonna last very long. Um, they, and they will probably, I don't know if that's because, you know what? It may have been because the game accidentally made it for two days instead of just one. Huh. There's something to think about. Um, but yeah. You you can get your items back. Um, the very first time I experienced it, it was with um, a backpack full of echoes. It wasn't entirely full. But I had a decent amount of each of the Echoes, and I was pretty darn upset that I had lost them all. And then I read that, I think on Reddit or something, and checked, and I got like 5% of them back, which is, you know, it's something. And I'm coming in here because I think I have enough, yep, to get the dock upgrade. I thought about it, and I'm like, oh yeah, speaking of docks, why not, right? Let's go see what the upgrade looks like. No time we should be able to afford the new one, right? The what's it, the last one? Next to last one? Alright, you checked it out earlier. It looked all kind of broken down and not so pretty. We were just there a moment ago. Let's see what the 7C Corporation did in the like five, ten seconds it took. Alright, so here it's all the same. 
Okay, looks like that netting is new. Is the netting new? Am I crazy, guys? All right, this is definitely new. Right here, these steps. These steps were killer for me because um, the very first time I got the upgrade, one of the duckies got stuck under the steps. So I would have puddle slime leaping to their death. It was awful. It was so bad. But um, I didn't realize that a ducky got caught under there. You couldn't see it. And then one in, in one of their patches, Monona Park fixed it, and you could suck the ducky up from underneath of there, and it would no longer get stuck, which is excellent. So yeah, there's uh, steps into our pond. There's some bricks here. This is a decoration. More decorations. The best part, though, comes down here. The pier is all fixed. There's this here. I don't think... No, there's still nothing out here on the pier that you can do. No blueprint areas. But it's still so pretty. If you have some slimes that aren't prone to hopping around, you could stick them out here and it would look lovely. And you don't have to worry so much about coming out here because it's not broken down and there's a fence and the only way you can fall off is if you are trying. So it's pretty cool. It's a very, very pretty upgrade. So I think that's going to be now. All for now. I can talk. That's going to be all for now. And, um like this video if you enjoyed seeing me uh, pop a party slime and um, leave me a comment below if you know what kind of slimes you'd like me to put on Mochi's Mansion and just subscribe if you enjoy listening to me talk over video games. Until next time, bye bye for now!